Hi, it's Shane Saracen. It's time for Tip Tuesday. Today we're going to take a look at a couple of really old pads that were designed for the fact of playing on the tilted surface like you would in the old days on the snare drums because they had ropes and slings and stuff to carry them around. So this is just a generic type pad. It's wood. It's got a pretty thin rubber surface. It's orange and it's, uh, it's pretty hard. Uh, so I'm going to play it on this table and I've got this towel because this, this pad's light enough that it wants to travel if I, if I just play it. Okay, so it's a nice hard surface. Uh, obviously if I want to pop a rim shot I just hit down on the shoulder of the stick to get that sound. It's not what it's designed for, it's just what I do. But again, it's designed to be at that angle for traditional grip. Match grip would make you have to do this. You could, however, turn the pad towards you and play match grip if you wanted to. Okay, again, this is just a generic type pad. I don't even know, I got it online and I don't remember where. Uh, might have been just off Amazon or something like that. I also have this Ludwig pad. Now this is a metal pad with a rubber insert uh, in the Ludwig uh, keystone type tradition, I guess. It does have rubber feet on it. It also has an ability to put it on a stand of some kind um, as long as it's a flat top on the stand and not a cymbal thing. You can do that. Uh, again, because it wants to travel, I'm going to just put it on the uh, towel. So you can see it's very quiet. Okay, I'll just play it in the air. Very quiet. I like this pad a lot. It feels nice. Again, if you wanted to play a match grip, you could tilt it toward you. Okay, so again, the reason I decided to talk about these pads is because they're actually designed to be played a traditional grip when the drums were tilted. Even a lot of the modern marching drums now are actually played flat with traditional grip. Now this one is unique. It's a wedge made by Ludwig. It says the Porto Practice Pad by the WFL Drum Company, William F. Ludwig. Um, I actually have the box that it came in. This is pretty old. The box is still intact. It's seen some better days, but it is still intact. It actually says $2. Uh, obviously, you know, the pads are too dull. Now this one, I don't need the towel for. It actually sounds and feels better just to play it. Okay, again, a wedge, you could tilt it towards you again. Okay, it doesn't matter what side you play. Just want to hear the pad. Okay, this one gives you a little more workout. It's definitely thicker. Again, you could put it on the towel. I just did it to because the other pads need to be in the towel. Definitely slows down the action. So, of the three pads, This one, I can play it on the table, but it, you'll see it tries to move. So I recommend playing it on a towel. Okay, 
very, very little rubber, very hard pad. This older Ludwig. I messed that up. My elbow, my arm gives me a problem over here because of the table. And then, of course, this uh, portal pad that came in this box. So, it doesn't matter which side. videos that compare a lot of the modern pads but I thought before I did that I would do a couple of videos on some of these really old ones that I have uh, I honestly don't use these much anymore uh, but I do have them and uh, we'll do a couple of other ones that are kind of old school uh, I like this kind of pad a lot my, my uh, teacher in college had one that was red quite a bit larger and actually had two blocks of wood supporting the, the angle and it had this killer muffled woodblock sound to it that was just amazing. Uh, I like these two over this one. Again, this is hard. Uh, and they're small enough that they can be carried around and, and uh, in a backpack or, or, or a satchel or whatever. And uh, to me, a practice pad is something that you use when you don't have access to get to a drum. That's what I like about how small these are. Now, if you need to practice a modern marching type thing and you need a rim and all that kind of stuff, these are not the pads for you, uh, but they definitely are designed with a tilt in mind for playing traditional grip, you know, so it works well for that type of thing. So I just wanted to shoot these because I've had them and I thought I might as well talk about them. So again, this one has the, the original box uh, and it's seen some better days, but it's still intact and it still still works there you go so we'll be shooting some other pads pretty coming up pretty soon everything but i just wanted to check these out and uh if you if you old school there's a lot of these like things like this that are still in the market i saw somebody at PASIC a couple years ago or nam that has some killer ones and everything so they're out there but if you're the one if you're, you're the kind of person that needs to practice where you need a rim and all that kind of stuff to practice ping shots and stuff like that. These are not the pads for you, but they're fun. And they're old school. Like I said, they're at a tilt because that's the way everybody played back when I was young. So check them out. Thanks.